What's up everybody? Nintendo Beast here. I got uh, two packages in the mail from Best Buy. Um, so let me tear into these. I should have a third one coming too, but these are the ones that arrived today, so I'll put them in the beginning of this video. Uh, you can skip ahead if you want to get just right into the gameplay. So the first game or the first package, I'm gonna use brute strength to tear these things open. Uh, quite simply, is just Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, with a big old fucking hold for ship notification sticker on the front. Peel that off if I can. And there she is. Animal Crossing New Horizons, everybody. Imagine if I had waited this long to get this game. I would have blown my freaking head off for the past couple of days. Um, Alright, so that's that package. That's one. Uh, second package. Now this one is a little bit more exciting. Um, I'm still waiting on my bell bag. My plush bell bag uh, from Best Buy. I'm trying to be a little bit more careful with this one. Still using brute force, but uh, a little bit more cautious brute force. Let's get this f***er open. Um, here she is. Alright. That's pretty cool. Let me show you this. bad boy. And that's all that she wrote in that package, too. So this one is the pre-order exclusive. It's the uh, phone and tech badge. Let me see if I can... There you go. Check that bad boy out. Of Tom Nook himself. Um, so I guess it's like a, a reusable sticker or type of thing. It's three-dimensional. Almost looks more like a magnet. Um, stick them on, phone and tech badge. Step one, use a microfiber cloth th to thoroughly clean your device in the areas it's gonna be applied. Carefully peel off and remove backing. Um, apply pressure to the badge. Where are gonna, uh, removing badge, side pla slide plastic card between tech badge and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't seem like it would be that reusable though. It seems like it's kind of a one-time thing. Although it does say removable and reusable, sticks to all your tech devices, including phones, cases, laptops, and more, leaves no residue. So we're gonna find out, but that's, ooh, there you go. That's the phone and tech badge. Um, there's the back of the package if you're interested. Real quick, quick and easy. Those are my two packages I got today. Bada bing, bada boom. Animal Crossing for my wife and uh, phone and tech badge. And then I'll make another, I'll throw the next one together when I get my, uh, my bell bag. But until then, thanks for watching and uh, check the gameplay. What is up everybody, the Nintendo Beast here. Uh, welcome back to another episode. Oh, I'm losing track of days here, people. I think it's day four. Episode 5. See, I, I threw that epi the extra episode in on night 1, and that's what's screwing with me. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. It's 1029 AM. This happy Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Now for today's news. Domo Isle gained a new neighbor today, Callie. If you happen to see her, please give her a warm welcome. Alright, it's time for our final announcement of the day. The bridge. For all of you do-it-yourself Loving Island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. Do-it-yourself veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. Learning how to customize will help you change up the look of any do-it-yourself projects you create. I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this do-it-yourself workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all for me. What about the bridge? The bridge better be fucking open. <laughs> so I will say, I went on a binge last night and I, uh, I really busted my ass trying to, um, oh, what was this? I got an achievement already. I really busted my ass trying to pay off my house. I failed to do so, but I'm within 13,000 bells, so I should be, I should be able to pay it off this morning. Uh, <laughs> 
I would have kept going, but then the store closed and there was no way to make money at that point, so, you know. Oh, yeah. So let's dig this stuff up and see if there's any change. So if I recall correctly, this was the turnip and this was the uh, shovel. Alright, so no change to the turnips whatsoever. Yep, and no change to the shovel either. Alright, so neither of those things do anything anymore. Just a wait, complete waste of time. So, all good. Uh, so I also made the joke the other- Yes, holy shit, yes. I'm not gonna go over there yet. But I also made the joke the other day. Um, when I ate those turnips. I said, uh... Oh damn, they upgraded their house. Oh my god, everybody's upgrading their houses, what the hell? I made the joke, uh, that I wish I could just shit out the food, um, and I saw something online the other, like, last night that leads me to believe that you genuinely can shit in this game, which is, I don't know, I guess good, because it's stupid, I don't know, can somebody in the comments inform me, please, um, what the purpose of eating that is? it is, because, like, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty worthless. Come on, give me some gold. <laughs> Nothing. And what's more, I, I, I genuinely think that I destroyed a bunch of rocks in my town by hulking out and being an idiot. So I'll search for those right now, and then I'll <laughs> venture forth where no animal or man has ever ventured before, into the unknown, across the bridge. <laughs> Ooh, money. And a pill bug. Too bad I don't need that shit anymore. I needed that yesterday. Oh boy, yes, this will be enough to pay off my debt first thing in the morning so I don't even have to worry about it. I'm just going to do it right now. Screw it, right? Oh, no, wrong place. Ooh, okay, so my rocks did come back. Thank God. I was going to be really pissed off if I lost my rocks because I hulked out and whatever. Fucking turnips. Ah, John, hello, hello. As you might have heard about customization, yeah. I'm not super worried about that right now. <laughs> but I'll let you know when I am. <laughs> cool. Four days in a row. So it is day four, people. Four, not four. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Done. Loan payment paid off. Hoorah. Ugh. Now, Nook, make my house bigger. Make it bigger because I'm greedy. Make it bigger. I found a creature. What?
Oh shit. Lathers, baby. So now we can start donating to the museum. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's gonna show me all the an all the uh, bugs and fish I've caught. The Critterpedia. Hell yeah. <clears throat> we are moving right along, people. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bunch to do with Nook this morning, so let's just get all this stuff out of the way. First of all, first things first, upgrade my house because I'm a greedy little bastard. Uh, <clears throat> 348,000 bells. Jesus. Yeah, let's do it because. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Let me, uh. Let me just learn about this workshop real quick just because I'm here. Might as well. Oh, so this is actually going to launch me into the, customiz the customizer. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. It's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the, the uh, you'll need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. I still have a wardrobe. What did he say? I wasn't paying attention. That I can throw that down and access my storage anywhere? I think. I guess it's craft, right? Fuck. I'm not really super interested in... I'm more so interested in this bridge. The opportunities that come along with this bridge are much more exciting than the opportunities that come with the customization of furniture. Damn it, Tammy, I wanted to be the first person on the other side. I agree. Yay. Hoorah. Alright. So now that's done. Alright, so this is the first person to move in. This is Callie. Can I move her shit now that she's moved in? I can. Awesome. So I'm still in complete control of this island. Just so everybody knows, the dictator still rules. Let me push your fucking trashy bucket to the side of your house. 
cash raid water or whatever the hell you want to do with it. I don't give a shit. Alright, so that's less terrible, but let me go ahead and visit her. Let me talk to all my neighbors real quick, and then I'll bravely venture forth uh, into the unknown. Oh, it's you. Little uh, cat squirrel thing. Skunk squirrel. I'm so glad we met on that island, and now that I'm all moved in here now. I just butchered that reading. Uh, I've got lot. I've still got lots of unpacking to do, but I'm really looking forward to spending time together here. I'm too tired for this shit. All right, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's Callie. It takes so long for trees and plants to grow. <laughs> so here are my little hyacinths, which are already attracting butterflies, which I'm stoked about. I put this fence up too. Um, let's see. I also got. I planted oranges. So these will be. Oh, sorry. This will be a pear tree. This will be an orange tree. So then I'll have coconuts. Cherries, pears, and oranges all in my town. <coughs> oh, Jesus, excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's light my campfire for the day. Truly indicating that I am ready to roll. I don't have any a fishing rod on me right now. So I will have to expand my yard, I think, uh, once my house starts growing. I'm kind of nervous what, as to what that's going to entail and what it's going to look like. Uh, but I did do this. This is pretty cool. Um, you can't really tell right now. Uh, but I installed these two guys. <laughs> Turn them off. I did this whole little... So this is the current design of my house, which will be bigger and different first thing tomorrow morning, probably. Um, I'm not going to do daily updates anymore. I mean, I will for... What day is it? Ooh, shit. What day is it today? Uh, this is day four. I'll probably do like three more. after. I'll probably do a full seven-day week, and then I'll start... Making the videos a little bit more sporadic. It's just the opening week is very, very crucial. So I wanted to make sure I got all of the, um, all the content for you guys on my channel. Uh, let me talk to my existing neighbors because <clears throat> I don't want to forget and break the streak. And then, after all this time, not get the achievement. What are you building? Is that a workbench? That workbench is so much nicer than mine. And there we go. Alright. What's up? <clears throat> Teach me. Okay, that works too. A mum wreath. What does a mum wreath look like? It's kind of fun to watch him just slam around on that hammer being, you know, a baboon. Um, I like how he has, like, this... I want everything that he has here. I want the flooring, and I want this table. It's gonna, that would look really, really nice with my modern whatever. Okay.
Oh, that's not nearly as nice looking as I was kind of expecting. Uh, it'd be cooler if you could actually decide what color mums or what color flowers go into them. Because then you could make them like seasonal and whatnot, and that'd be nice. Instead of just being like strictly spring or summer. Um, this ironwood dresser is actually kind of nice. Alright, on to the next person. Uh, yo, what's up? Everybody's got sleeping bags. You have a nice workbench, too. Am I the only idiot who's still crafting on a fucking tree stump? hell. Although I don't like anything else about your house, even though it's <laughs> similar to mine in flooring and whatnot. So my bamboo shoots are growing nicely. Uh, my smiley face. Smiley face. My pansy smiley face. Um, so I have found it strange that, uh, Tarantulas are so plentiful at nighttime. Like, they used to be extremely rare, and now they're just literally everywhere, which is. Let me see what tools you have in stock today. <laughs> Pretty much the same stuff you got every day. Ooh, skull print flooring. <laughs> Alright. Nothing really strikes my fancy today, boys. Out my way. Okay. Let me hit the rest of these rocks. Gold. 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 Garbage. There's a useless rock. I don't even have my freaking fishing rod, do I? Yet. Damn it. I gotta get that right now. Let me run. See if I can spot another rock if another one. See, the reason I put this fence up was because I know I'm gonna be doing it, and other people are gonna be visiting town and doing it. They're gonna run down here to get to the beach, to get to the bridge, to get to whatever. And they're gonna run through here, and I don't want them run ripping through my flowers. So I put this little fence up to stop them from being dickheads. And I think it'll do just nice. Just nicely. <sighs> but I might have to expand it, like I said, if my house grows, which it will tomorrow. Uh, yes, let me <laughs> put some stuff away.
I didn't even check what the turnip prices are. I'll check them later. So I think I'm ready to bravely go forth. No. I need uh, my ladder. <laughs> and with that said, I'm gonna pause this video quick. Okay, I'm back. So, sorry about that. These early morning recordings are really fucking with- I mean, it's a whole slew of things. Um, I just ran to the bathroom and blew my nose and whatever. It, the temperatures have been changing so crazy lately. Hot, cold, hot, cold, and it fucks with my sinuses pretty bad. Um, and then when I first when, when I first roll out of bed, I'm like, uh, um, but all good. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the deed, right? <laughs> Let me check the coast over here. It's a really nice, pretty beach area. Almost wish I had the opportunity to build my house on it. I'll build a beach tent over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna go along this coast here. What's this big, big jalopy? Fuck. Come on. <clears throat> It's just a black bass. <laughs> oh shit. Money, 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 money. Money. Bugs don't bug me. Oh shit. That was a quick, cool, like what, thousand bucks? <coughs> okay. Still sneezing. Jesus. <laughs> Look at all these bugs and fish I caught. See, this is the scorpion. <coughs> oh my god! I'm literally falling apart, people. I'm dying. Oh my god. Okay. So fishing along this river is not really the most important part about this. Right now, I'm in the name of exploration. Fossils. <laughs> Can I start unloading them on uh, on blathers yet too? <laughs> gyroids. I want to know if gyroids are in this game. Because I'm gonna be very, very disappointed if they're not. Oh yeah.
Ooh, it's kind of fancy. A little waiting pool there. I like the prospects of all those islands in the, in the distance there. It's kind of cool. Holy shit. For blathers! Where'd my ladder go? Jesus. Plenty of flowers up here. Not that I'm really interested in flowers. Okay, so here are all the pine trees, too. Is am I gonna fall into one of these? No, okay. Gyroid? Nope, fossils. Gyroid. Nope, fossil. Did they completely get rid of gyroids? Because I'm going to be disappointed if they got rid of gyroids. <laughs> Ooh, I have a little... Back here area. Oh, it's a little private beachy beach that I can't actually get out on. That's kind of dumb. I get out on this rock? Nope. I actually don't like the layout of this island anymore. Alright, but I can get over here now, which is cool. <laughs> Just let me clear out. Flowers, you will grow where I tell you to grow. And not another place. <laughs> My pockets are full already? Are you fucking kidding me? With what? Oh my god. <sighs> Fine, I'll just... basically doing like land development right now so note to self leave flowers be until later weeds I can still pick up though so 
so a lack of weed presence will be my indicator that I've already been to an area. So let me go... Let me climb down there and see what's down here. So there are actually three levels to my island here. Which is interesting. <laughs> so then this is the other coast. <laughs> what is this? Club Tortimer? I want to know what that is. I'm going to build a bridge probably right here then, too. <laughs> I guess I can build pretty much infinite bridges now, right? Since I just, I'm just crafting them. <laughs> Alright, we got a little pond. Awesome. Gyroid. Fuck. Where the hell are the gyroids? Alright, let's develop this land. Let's run all the way to the bait the bottom here. And start cleaning it up. Oh, that's coming my way. This moth. Out my face. Get out my face. Alright. This is it's gonna rain again today. Cypress bathtub. I'm gonna have so many weeds, and I'm gonna sell it all, and that'll probably hit my uh, next thing on the nook, nook miles. Picking these weeds is just like, it's so mesmerizing. Okay. I'm just checking behind trees to make sure there's none that I'm missing. This whole area down here now is all 
developed and de-weeded. So it's looking pretty snazzy. Base. Let me go all the way up. Actually, no, I'm gonna head back because I don't wanna see something up there and be bitterly disappointed when I can't bring it home with me because I don't have enough pocket space. Here. I wonder if my ladder is eventually going to break too. That's going to be pretty shitty if it does. Oh shit. Look at all the bugs that are on my flowers. This is awesome. Alright. So can I donate fossils yet? Is that a thing that I can do? Because... <laughs> I doubt that I can yet, but I'd still love to know. <laughs> oh wait, did I ever do this? Oh yeah, I did. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's go sell some shit and then throw my fossils in uh, my house. And then we'll venture back into the unknown. <laughs> That's pretty much about. Tonight, today might be a shorter episode. Uh. So I think that's about all there is, other than just binging and, you know, paying stuff off and getting Nook Miles, I think that's pretty much the extent of the major things. What's the, what are the turn of prices today? Yeah, 61 bells would have taken a half, like 50% loss just about, not selling them today. <laughs> What's hot today? An old-fashioned wash tub. Just out of curiosity. What did I just shoot out of that balloon? A cypress bathtub. Damn it. Alright, well. What are we gonna sell? Let's sell clumps of weeds. <clears throat> White pansies. Nope, not the honeybee. It's gonna go to blathers. Nothing, but okay. Take my bathtub too, I don't want it. If it was a toilet, I would take it. Just to demonstrate. Oh wow. It's actually worth something. Cool. So sometimes shooting balloons down can be. 
the valuable. Well, it was nice this morning. <laughs> Let me tell you, people, climate change is definitely a thing here in uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is ridiculous. I haven't had a single sunny day. It Even this morning, it started out sunny, but then it turned disgusting very quickly. <laughs> I just came here for something. I forget what I came here for. Oh, yeah. To drop shit. Alright, so put this stuff away. And then I'll run this honeybee back to Tom Nook. And then I'll be back on my way so yeah so I think that's so blathers is interested in moving in I'm already donating stuff to his house or to his cause maybe if I after I donate a certain number of bugs then he'll build a museum <laughs> I don't know what that number is, but I'll keep donating throughout the day and see if I can hit that number, whatever that number is. Yes. <laughs> More do-it-yourself recipes. Yes. So now I can actually craft my own axes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It'd be great if I could craft a flimsy shovel, too, so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the island. Uh, that'd be great, but... Oh, that's kind of cool. A bonfire. I kind of like my little campfire better, though. <laughs> we'll see. Tiki torches, though. I like that. Maybe I'll put some tiki torches on the beach around my house. Alrighty, let's get on the road, shall we? <laughs> Land development! Let's do it! Alright, so... Where was I? climb up here. I haven't been up here yet. I don't think, at least. There's so much unexplored land up here. <laughs> I've been here, right? I think. Yeah. stuff out. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so. Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, got my sinuses all cleared up, I think, now. At least I hope. Um, just about done picking all these weeds. Um, and as I go, I've been selling the weeds. I did hit uh, the 1,000 greedy weeder, whatever. Got like a 1,000 nook miles for that. Um, for selling a 1,000 bags of weed. Uh, <laughs> but no, as I've been going, I've been donating um, all the bugs I catch to blathers, well, nook to give to blathers, and every time I do that, um, Tom Nook tells me something different, he says something different, so I'm kind of led to assume that if I keep donating stuff, blathers will not appear, that sounds creepy, um, but he'll request to move to the island, and that's how we're gonna get him here. Um, the Able Sisters were already here. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get them to the island. <laughs> but I think I'm just about done weeding the entire island. Which... Is exciting and disappointing in, in ways, uh, because now I know that there's no achievement to be had. Um, let me check my bug or my critterpedia and see. Does it say what I've donated? No, but it does tell you where to find them. Then that's pretty awesome. So, like for example. Tarantulas, January, February, March, April, November, December. So then, maybe scorpions are out May, June, July, August, September, October? Between the... What is that? S about 7 p.m. and 4 a.m.? <laughs> I think those are all the weeds. So we're just moving right along here. So now that I've got all the weeds, let me just start swinging for the fences. What does suck is you can actually only... Shit. You can only donate one bug at a time. At least to Nook. Or to Blathers through Nook. Once Blathers is actually here... Hopefully that'll change. Um, but I don't really know what to expect. So I have hit 5,230 Nook Miles now. Which means I am going to go expand my pockets. I really like this little beach over here. I'm going to go upgrade my pocket size. That way I can go on a real expedition and... Uh, collect bugs for blathers <laughs> and fish but I think I've donated one of them already see I wish I wish the critterpedia it would be really really handy if the critterpedia actually kept track of what you'd are you have already donated to the museum maybe it will once blathers gets here not totally sure but i found a creature so yeah previous interactions with nook here um gave me a bag of flowers which he then explained to me that the flowers here in this game uh they don't wilt or anything if you don't water them uh, but in order to have them, you know, um, oh shit, what's happening? In order to get them to cross-pollinate, you have to water them. Blathers is on the phone. 
Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. Oh shit, blathers. I am currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Domo Isle. Yes, yes. The local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Hmm. How many precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. So five, you get the call. Five, you get the call from Blathers. Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. No, no, you... You're good. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, but I could use your help, John. Yes, the museum! Would you be able to find a spot for Blathers? Yes! We're getting the museum, everybody. We're getting the museum. Day four is an exciting one. This is awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna put him on the extended island. I kind of already mapped out a spot in my head. Good thing it's raining. It's always pleasant to have a rainy, shitty day. But whatever. This is gonna be a black bass, but I'm gonna catch it anyway because the museum needs it, right? <laughs> Blathers might be here tomorrow. And if that's the case, hoo hoo boy. Then this game just becomes that much more addicting and that much more time consuming. Filling the museum. Yeah, it's a black bass, but. <laughs> I was kind of put thinking about putting it up in here. But now that I think about that more, I don't really like that idea. I don't want to block off this waterfall. I feel like I want to do something cool with this waterfall here. Let me see. Would it be stupid to put him up on a cliff? <laughs> I mean, it would it would make it a kind of a pain in the ass temporarily for me. But I think I'll be able to... construct like a permanent ladder eventually. What does this side have to offer? <laughs> I kind of like that little clearing over there, though. <laughs> what if we do it right here? Because then it's in relatively close proximity to the, uh, the store, too. Let me see what size this tent is going to be. So we're talking, we are talking about the whole museum. I want to centralize it kind of in this. Let me see. 
Because I do want to make sure there's still... A backyard, so to speak. Like an area that you can run... There's not blocking anything off. That'd be stupid of me. Let me imagine it. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Okay. So it is just going to be a tent at first. It's not going to be a full-blown museum. But regardless, there it is. Blathers is coming to town. So now I definitely have to build a bridge. I'm thinking one right here. And you could still, you know, navigate around here pretty well. So let's get back over to the main island now. <clears throat> and it looks like the rain will help to uh, cross-pollinate, too. I did get these. This is what I... I found these orange pansies, which are pretty cool-looking. And they were between a red and a yellow... Um, or next to a, a red and a yellow pansy, obviously. <laughs> like, you see here. They might have actually been those ones, I'm not really totally sure, but... I should have caught that snail for... <laughs> Blathers. I do like the, um, I think the placement will be good, because you can see, well, you can't see it because my face is down there in the video, but it's kind of really close proximity to the, uh, the Nook shop, so it'll make it very, very convenient for me, um, to, you know, run back and forth, selling things and whatnot, um, Yeah, see, I might actually be able to see it, for example. Oh, here, let me get this snail quick. Got it. <laughs> but you have your shop right here, and then literally right there is the museum. So it'll be very, very close proximity uh, while preserving some of the nature-y side of the island still. Allowing still vast areas of forest and whatever. And naturally occurring things like the waterfall that I can build stuff around and make them cool. Uh, no, I'm not. I didn't even know what that was, but no, I'm trying to talk to you over here. I want to sell shit. <clears throat> so yeah, the turn the turn up prices are only 62 bells today, so I'm definitely not doing that. Um, <laughs> sell a couple more dime bags of weed. Uh, sold. And let's, uh... Is Nook still accepting donations, I assume, until Blathers arrives? So then tomorrow I'll be able to unload all these fossils, probably, too. Ah, John. I take it you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I knew I could count on you, thank you. I'll let Blathers know that he can move in as soon as he wants. <laughs> Additionally. So I can't donate things anymore. It's literally just... Son of a bitch. Okay, well, let me upgrade my pocket space. <laughs> Are there more stuff? Oh, cool, so they have fences now, too. Barbed wire fence, a brick fence. It's more of a brick wall than anything, but maybe I'll upgrade to a brick fence then, but not right now. <laughs> because... You know, I'm not trying to... Hairstyles, hairstyles. I wish I... 
to change my eye color because I fucked up at the beginning. I don't have blue eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear an eye mask all the time so people can't tell. <laughs> anyway. Pocket organization guide. Tool rig. Custom design pro editor. I think if I get that... If I unlock this, then, uh... The Able Sisters might move in. But let me do this first. <laughs> Boom. Now generating pocket organization guide. Your order has been printed. <laughs> huh? Okay. Da -da -da. I see this totally makes sense. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry more, a bit more stuff now. How much more stuff? We're gonna find out right now. Oh. Yay, a whole new layer. So not a lot more, but... Whatever. Still better than nothing. So what can I do? That'll make my trips to the island a little bit more profitable, too. Uh, sell fruit, chop down trees, catch fish, plant flower seeds. How many flower seeds do I have? Five bags. Hell yeah. Let me, uh, let me plant these and make some nook miles. I don't even have to water them right now because it's raining already. be super creepy about this. So I'm going to change these to red. Oh, shit. So I can do that. Got out of my garden, Tammy. Fuck off. That should be that achievement, right? Yep. Boom. I'm not done yet. So in a couple of days, then it'll be complete. Yellow eyes, red mouth. That'd be nice and whatever. Um, <laughs> quick and easy money. What is this? Selling your stuff for 5,000. Capture a memory. <laughs> Let me go... Um, Yeah, what am I gonna do? Let me go put this stuff away. How vast is my storage space? That's what I kind of want to know. Let me put this stuff away and let me build, let me craft a bridge to Blathers. Because if I put that down, then it should be done construction tomorrow. And then it'll be all ready to go for when Blathers gets here. It'll be super easy to access him, so... Um... Why can't I use that item right now? What the hell are you talking about? Why not? Why can't I put a, po a potted plant down? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Whatever. 
stupid, but okay. What if I did... I'm not worried about it. I'll just put them into storage and, and not deal with them right now. <laughs> Is that the end of my possible space, though? Do I own... Am I going to run out of storage space? I really hope not. <laughs> I can't even put them into storage? Fuck. Yo, get these flowers out of my fucking prop, out of my possession. I don't want them. I'm gonna run them across the bridge here and just dump them somewhere. I don't give a shit. I'm right here. flower dump. I want these orange ones, though. I am getting all wet. Like, visibly wet. Um. <laughs> See how cool those are? They're like red. They're not actually orange. They're like just like red and yellow, but they're cool. Anyway, <laughs> let me run in here again and get some crafting supplies. And also, I want to figure out what I actually need. <clears throat> like what supplies I need to actually craft. Um, Bench. Is that an option? No, still not an option. Great. I want a new workbench. Um, yeah, but I did get this watering can. He gave me a, Nook gave me a watering can when I donated one thing. He gave me those flowers um, that I planted. Uh, let me think. Oh wait, there's a workbench. Okay, but let me make a bridge. <laughs> or is that not a thing that I can do now? <laughs> Am I... Missing something? Can I not make another bridge? Because <clears throat> here I was pretty convinced that I could make a fucking bridge. I can make the lo the wooden stakes, but I can't make the fucking bridge. What the hell, man? I'm pissed. Because now I have to run all the way around to just go to fucking Blathers tomorrow instead of... I'm... That's bullshit. That's major bullshit. But... <laughs> Whatever. How much tiki torches? Tree branches and wood. Five t Or five... 
three branches, and five wood. Okay, that's all I got. I'm pissed now. I wanted a fucking bridge. I don't know why I wouldn't be allowed to have a, br a second bridge. I thought that that was part of the game that... Oh, that's, that's getting nice out. Slowly but surely. Just a spring zephyr. Alright, let's craft some tiki torches then. I also wish you could craft, like, things in bulk. That'd be nice. I don't know how practical that would be for most people, but... Yeah, I think it'd be kind of practical. Let me do... Six tiki torches if I can afford... If I can... Swing it. I don't think I can. How many tiki torches is that now? That's four. What? What did I do? Ooh, do it yourself furniture. Boom. It's another 500. Um. But wait, can I. Do I have the necessary amount of wood to craft two more? No, just one more. So I'm just going to leave it at four then. Two over here. They're obviously not going to stay in this configuration. I'm going to move them around a little bit, but... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. What if I put it... What if I put it, like, right here? I can't put one here, though, can I? Because of the fucking cliff. Yeah, no. Fuck you. Cliff. I can probably put one right here and make it symmetrical. Right? Yeah, all right.
I think that might be perfect. <clears throat> Looks about right. I think I'm going to put... Put that in my backyard. That could be kind of cool, right? Shit. I didn't even mean to do that. Can I place these inside my house? Is this something I can place? I'm so confused by these fucking flowers. Yeah, okay. Alright, so this is just my little flower corner, I guess, now. So that's that. Let me, uh, let me see. I suddenly realized how not symmetrical this shit is, though. There are two blocks between this and that tree, and there's only one block between this tree. So, I'm gonna have to... Plus, not to mention... It's a block backwards. So once that finally springs up, I'm gonna shake a coconut out of it, cut it down, and replace it with a symmetrical tree. Because... That's what my brain demands. Uh, but I kinda do like the idea of this being in my backyard. It's kinda more personal, I like it. Uh, okay. So now I got my cool tiki torches, my campfire, my whole little beach thing that going on here. My beachfront property. Let's, uh... Let's move right along here. So we can't donate anything more to Blathers today. Not until tomorrow when he gets here. Can't build a bridge to Blathers, uh, because stupidity. Um, let me put that in storage, put this in storage. So tomorrow, I guess, we'll go on a whole bug and fish catching spree. Let me go talk to Nook again and see if there's anything that I can do. Like, ugh. Ah, John, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes. That is the question. Registered for my customization workshop. Ask me about my workshop if you're curious. To... Oh, okay, so... Yeah, I'll finish that workshop up. Um, I do have to go home and get my crafting supplies, though. Probably gonna end up bringing that portable radio in because I don't really like it anymore. I mean, I never liked it. But... <laughs> Now I especially don't like it. It looks like shit out there. With my tiki theme. Um, yeah, so what do I need? Could need hardwood. Could need regular wood. Hopefully I didn't just use all my... But let me just check what I do need. Because I need... I'm building a wardrobe, right? So do I have a 
stone axe on me? No. Let me get a stone axe out real quick. Because I need to get more wood. I don't need any hardwood or softwood. I just need regular wood. And for some reason, they decided to make wood the hardest thing to come by. That's not true. Iron is definitely the hardest thing to come by, but wood is like the second. It's like a close second. Just regular wood. Fuck. Damn it. Well, I'll put that up. No, I won't, because I wanna I wanna remember which tree to come back to. Alright. So let me uh I'm just gonna quick finish up this customization workshop, but in order to do that, there's some tasks I need to accomplish. I need to get this flimsy axe. Probably need stone. Probably need iron nuggets. And uh we'll see what else. Let me see. I need wood. I just need wood and a flimsy axe. That's actually all I needed. Oh yeah, but it did give me. I don't know if I were, if this was part of the recording, but I did get um, the recipe for an axe. So that's good. I just needed a recipe for a shovel, and then I'm pretty good to go. So I actually didn't need any of the shit that I just pulled out of my pockets. So let me just put all this back then. So let me go in my backyard real quick. Craft a stone axe. ounce of hardwood that I could care less about. All this hardwood. I'm not going to um, hit the cherry trees yet because I like the way they look when they're in full bloom. So to speak. Now we're talking. This is the money tree right here. Got that one already. How much wood do we need again? Twelve. We need one more. And wood will probably never be in short supply again now that we have the entire extended island, right? God, mother fucking damn it. Okay, we're good. We survived, everybody. We survived the bee apocalypse. What sucks is that you can't survive it. I mean, you can survive it if you are readily prepared, but you can't survive it when you're on an island. You're just bound to get fucked. I just let it happen because I just don't give a shit. Let me just get some extra wood just 
to be safe for the future. Motherfucker, again? What the hell? Um. I'm tired of these fucking bees. I'm tired of all these goddamn bees all over my goddamn island. That'll do. <laughs> Alright, Nooker. Nookalooka. What's good? Alright. So, yeah, let's. Oh, wait. So I'll craft this. Yay, he's so happy for me. All done for now. And then I'll come back and I'll do... There we go. Oh, John, you've got your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, John, I'll give you some customization kits. I'm still really bitter about that fucking bridge. Next, pull pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Ooh. That's... I like this a lot now. Okay. Blackwood. It is quite easy when you have customization kits in a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. Mm -hmm. As a graduate, as a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Yes. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as do-it-yourself projects. However, some of the mass-market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoyed putting on a fashion show in your home using your new custom wooden wardrobe. Now take a break, hmm? I do believe you've earned it. Bum ba dum bum. Oh shit, I have 48 customization kits. That should be enough for everything I ever want to do, ever. Just kidding. <sighs> so let me run inside and put this uh, cabinet up. Can I customize flooring? <laughs> Let me... Let me find out. Oh, you can do that. Okay. I just learned that now. Um. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I'll admit it. 
I think I'm going to change back. And I, I like the pattern of this shirt. But it just feels a little bit too much like a blouse, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But let me, um, water sandals. No, I'm gonna put on this one. I don't like how he's posing either. It's creepy. Oh, wait, I didn't change. What the hell? Oh, I got some kind of something. So we're progressing pretty nicely, I think. But let me check my storage. So the wardrobe really has nothing to do with your storage at all, realistically. <laughs> Just for now. Let me go to my workbench out here and see if I can customize this flooring. If I can make it black wood, that would be so cool. Customize something. Shit. How can I customize my shovel? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm just gonna break it anyway, so why the hell bother, right? Same thing with- okay, so you can customize all your tools and stuff like that. It's kind of nifty, I guess. But you still can't customize your flooring, which is disappointing. Flooring and wallpaper cannot be customized, so you really do have to find um, shit. <laughs> Alright, let's launch the you have to find black flooring if you want black flooring, if that makes sense. Alright, that's... yeah, perfect. What can I customize? Can I customize this bed? I feel like I should be able to. What else can I customize? Can I customize my switch to be black and like my black one? Let's go find out what all we can customize. I assume I can't customize this dartboard, but I also kind of don't even want it to be up anymore. I'm going to leave that up because I assume that can't be customized either. Not worried about it. Because it is like a butterfly fish thing. What am I going to change it to? A different kind of fish? Customize something. Wooden simple bed. And my Nintendo Switch, I can customize it. Oh, shit. Oh, it requires seven to do that. That's stupid as hell. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. Because that's the Nintendo Switch I actually have. Gray one. And it'll fit my uh, aesthetic better. <laughs> I was curious if I'd be able to do that, and I'm kind of happy that you can. Oh, shit.
Okay. I'm just gonna use a bland pattern. I mean, it's lame, but it's... No, I'm gonna create a custom design. Oh, you can't do that right now? Shit, let me... I don't wanna waste money, so to speak. So let me, um... Let me create a custom design quick. Change design. Let me make it all black. Let me just fill it with black. Uh, oh, wait, let's go the other way. Here we go. Oh, wait. Yes. Not important. Alright, so now I can have a fully black bed. And it'll match the aesthetic of my... Uh, house that I'm going for here. I wonder if I'll, if I'll ever be able to paint the f or design the front of the house. Now we're getting somewhere designing the uh, interior of the house. And I think after I'm done with this, I'll sign off for the day because I think I've got pretty much everything there is to do right now. Customize my wooden simple bed. So definitely go to, I do like dark wood, but black, custom design. Oh yeah. Very Burton-esque, Tim Burton-esque. Beautiful. Alrighty, let's... Put my bed down. Shit. Of course. Alright. Um. Whoops. Still, still getting used to the, the uh, controls of this game. And it's four days in already. Alright. And then pockets. Put my portable record player right here again, and then put my new switch right there, and yeah, I'm liking the way this looks so far. This is the kind of aesthetic I'm going for, this more modern black, dark, if I can get some dark wood for the floor. And some darker stuff for the walls. Like to match this. Like this dark wood. I really like this black wood. So that's what I'm going for. And I think the uh, switch fits in nicely. And these two uh, light up sea butterfly tanks look really cool too. Uh, so yeah. That's all for today. Thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow.